Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop and this is the HSD F86 modification series and since the last time I saw you guys everything was nice and neat and now we had to take everything apart because a couple days ago we received our battery packs and um, I got all three of them from uh, Thunder Power, which I got from Bob Violet Models, because you can only get these packs through Bob Violet Models. Thunder Power will not sell these to you. So, I got those. Those are uh, 7700s, uh, 70C batteries, four cell each. I'm gonna have to change these ends on it to meet the stuff that I use. Um, also, eh, you guys remember I made that battery pack out of cardboard. You know, that was pretty good. It worked out perfect. Uh, the batteries fit maybe just a hair. No, that's pretty close. Worked out pretty good as a mock-up so I could go ahead and do the modification with the in intake duct. All right, let's get to the problem that happened once those batteries came. I put it all together, went to try to set up the CG, and the CG was impossible to achieve super tail heavy. Nothing. I would have had to have put six pounds all the way up in the nose. Even with the batteries located about here, I still could not get the tail to come off the ground. And that is due to the fact that HSD puts the fan unit all the way back here just in front of the rudder and that's a lot of weight back here so to that caused me a lot of dilemma I sat up and then I thought about it and I said you know what what are we gonna do self what I had to do was I took the the intake duct which is in three section took the middle section out pushed the back section all the way up till they joined the front section which is this is the front section, and the other one is still in the plane because I can't take it out because it's hooked up to the ESC, so I can't do that. And then I started moving it backwards until I achieved my CG, which left a gap between, where is everything around here when I'm doing stuff? Oh, um, it left a gap left a gap because I kept moving the fan unit back until I got the CG and when I looked around there was a gap between the front and the back so I had to go back and take the middle section and cut it so that I could have a piece wide enough to fill that gap so that's just going to slide on there and then the fan unit duct will slide on here and it's in the plane everything's good to go so that problem was easy peasy to fix but then came the other problem what am i going to do about the fan i thought it was going to wind up being somewhere like right here and i was going to have to cut a hole but once i turned the plane over and looked at it the fan unit lined up right under this cheese grade that uh hsd gives you Get out of here. I'm digging in this bag of junk parts. This is the part that HSD gives you from the factory. That's under there like that. Of course, you know, I couldn't stand that anyhow. So I had already made me a knock event uh, that I was going to use. So I put it there. Boom, bada bang. And then I went back and I took the one that came out that held the fan unit, no longer needed. So I ground all the foam, cut it off, not grind it off. It's over somewhere around here in a box as spare foam parts. Now, and I, before I painted this, I put carbon fiber cloth over it. That's why when I cut it, it retained its stiffness. And rigidity because this is actually carbon fiber cloth being painted so 
put that over and that's going to be there because that's going to hold nothing anymore it's just to cover that hole up right and i have a lexan uh, plastic sheet that i'm going to form into a thrust tube that's going to come out i'll make two of them one 13 inches one 20 inches because 13 inches gets you to here where the old duck is 20 inches from the fan gets you all the way to the end so i'll make two and just make a decision on which one i'm going to use so that's that we did a lot of carving in here for different projects but you know, it's a long story but if you've ever followed me before you know i'm not afraid to cut foam foam is easily repairable so why not dig in and try something so i had to make some motor mounts well too late i already put them in they're not glued in but they're in And the motor mounts are located, where's my pointer at so I can give you, just happened that when I disassembled this plane, this groove right here is where the ESC sits on a board in the plane. The ESC sits in front of the fan unit, which used to be here to get its cooling. Well, that, that, Groove is absolutely perfect for where this fan has to sit, but it's too low. So I put a one of these um, mounts in this groove, and I needed to make a spacer to get. I had to get a spacer, a block of wood, and what it basically does is I don't know if you can see it or not, but that got the fan unit centered in the fuselage now so the other thing i did was i put some some rods in there to see where once i get the the two the lexan rolled where was it going to meet and everything seems to line up perfectly out here so the lexan 2 will be fine um this is a 120 millimeter fan and this is a 100 millimeter exit, just for those who want to know. So that is what we're working on because that was a major issue that we cannot fly this plane tail heavy. But a fix has got to be made without adding more weight. I'm not adding lead weight that's doing nothing. So far, everything that I have in this plane is actually doing something in this plane. So that's good. And, um, let's see. Um, that's about it, guys. So, right now, when I cut this off, I'm pulling the fan unit out, and I'm going to mix up my epoxy. And you see, I've got the fan unit in here. And it's, it's going to be, it's going to fit just right. So, I can just pull the fan unit. How I, I did this mock-up today was to see if I could get the fan in here. And not have to put it in here and push it. I can just open this hatch up. I can take this hatch off. Take my screws off and pull the fan unit right out of here. Which is a good thing. Because that's good. You don't need to know any more than that. So thanks for stopping by. Today's project will continue. We'll make another video on the F-86 modification. See you later. This is Jetman. I'm out.